What's up everyone, Mysteriosity again appearing on your screens, this time today bringing you a video on something that happened 40 years ago now. That's a long time. On a pretty casual evening in the United Kingdom, a local network was hacked and viewers at home were subjected to a voice that overrided the broadcast and delivered his very ominous message. Now, this happened on November 26th, 1977. I actually wanted to get this video uploaded on, you know, this past November 26th, you know, in order to really commemorate the 40-year anniversary of this particular incident. However, I had other things going on, so, you know, other things got in the way. Therefore, I wasn't able to get this video uploaded on the exact day I wanted. But nevertheless, here we are, and today I'm going to bring you my opinion on this particular incident so what exactly appeared on viewers' screens when this particular hijacking happened? Well, what appeared on screen was a voice named Vrilla. Now, you may think that, you know, he's saying something else. There's been mentions of his name Vrillon, Gillon, Astron. Whatever you think his name is, that's fine. But I am just going to refer to him as Vrillon, as that's what I personally think he is saying. And the reason for this hijack, as he explained, was because he wanted to warn us of how our current weapons could destroy our way of life. So he spoke in a deep, somewhat, sometimes unintelligible voice, often characterized by a uh, underlying buzzing sound. And I'd say for about 70% of this monologue, you can understand what he's saying, but there are other times due to, you know, static or just, you know, simply him being unintelligible, that, you know, they're sometimes hard to understand. Be still now, and whisper, or your chance may not come again. All your weapons of evil must be removed. The time for conflict is now past, and the race of which you are a part may proceed to the higher stages of its evolution, if you show yourselves worthy to do this. You have but a short time to learn to live together in peace and goodwill. So let's talk about the technical aspects of this hijacking. The transmitter that was being used was known as the Hannington UHF Television Transmitter. However, this transmitter was very was very unusual compared to other transmitters at the time. Most transmitters at that time were fed directly by a landline. This one, however, rebroadcasted an off-air signal received from another transmitter. So basically, it kind of harnessed the energy of other transmitters and then used it as its own kind of energy. That's not exactly the best way to describe it, but you know, still, that's that's one of the ways. Therefore, due to that, it made it more vulnerable to a hijacking. Due to it harnessing energy from outside sources, that made it more vulnerable to a hijacking or an intrusion, whatever you want to call it. And because of the low security, another transmission could overwhelm the reception of the intended signal, resulting in an unauthorized broadcast. So that actually points to this one being more of a hoax because this could indicate that an employee at the station actually did this in a way to spread his message. Maybe he made up Vrillon and the Ashtar Galactic Command to hide his true identity. So that is something that I, I think is definitely a possibility here. So this understandably startled the local people who were watching this broadcast and you know this you know people were reacting like uh, can someone tell me what the hell that was? The IBA, or International Broadcasting Authority, IMMEDIATELY labeled the broadcast as a hoax. So let's talk about this intrusion and the contents of it. This guy, Vrillon, he speaks with a sense of urgency and with a sense of you know, need that something needs to happen right now to prevent all-out war and potentially, you know, cause the end of the human race. And how he stated that, you know, we could live on as a peaceful race was if we destroyed all of our weapons of evil, such as, you know, guns, tanks, weapons of warfare, whatever, but he specifically mentioned money. Allegorically, money can be a weapon of evil. It can cause greed, it can cause corruption, it can cause, you know, whatever. Money's good, but it's also bad. So moving on, in the following years after this incident, ufology experts and conspiracy theorists and a lot of other people alike 
have doubt, have questioned the IBA's and Southern Television's claims that this was just a hoax because there are quite a number of people that believe that this particular intrusion was, you know, true in all ways, that Verlon really is an alien and he really is part of an intergalactic militia. One UFO expert and journalist stated, nobody seemed to consider that Asteron may have been for real. I think he is a bit correct on that one because the IBA and Southern Television, among others, just seem to just immediately come out of the blue and just say, it's a hoax, move on, there's nothing to see here so there he so there is a bit of truth to that that how they did not even really consider that this may have been genuine and that Vrilon may have been for real and continuing on I've gathered two pieces of evidence that suggest that this broadcast intrusion may have been a hoax one of them is how this intrusion was broadcasted locally if Vrilon is for real and if the Ashtar Galactic Command is for real and if they wanted to spread their message you have to ask the question why didn't they go nationwide or perhaps global so it does seem a bit odd to me that if they had this very important message that they wanted to send to humanity you figured they'd do it on a much larger scale you imagine if they're an intergalactic militia you have they'd have to have technology more capable of hacking just a local network and also you know as has been established now it's been 40 years since this has occurred with the exception of tragedies like 9-11 conflicts like the gulf war boiling tensions between the U.S. and North Korea, the recent Vegas massacre, and among other tragedies and conflicts and incidents and whatnot, there hasn't really been anything that has happened in these past 40 years that would be above the level of what Vrilon was alluding to in this intrusion. You know, they're all very, very sad and tragic, and you know, my Respect goes out to the families and, you know, all the people involved, but what I'm getting at here is that there hasn't been, like, a World War III, or an alien invasion, or a nuclear apocalypse, based on his claims that action needed to be taken right now to save ourselves, and you have to assume by right now he means... Like, you know, right this very instant or sometime in the next five or ten years or so. Now, you know, maybe Vrilon vastly underestimated his calculations or, you know, he's an alien and he lives in another galaxy, maybe. To Vrilon and the Ashtar Galactic Command, right now means any time between this very instant to the next 100 years, so... I don't know, that's just me throwing stuff out there. You have to look at the arguments from all sides, and you know, that's just kind of what I'm doing here. So anyway, to wrap things up, what do I think overall of whether this was real or a hoax? Well, I don't really have a, like, a concrete opinion on whether this was real or whether this was a hoax, but what I can tell you is that I think that there's more evidence to suggest that this was a hoax rather than there being more evidence to suggest that this was real. So the rest is pretty much up to you, you know? I mean, what do you think? Think of this um, broadcast interruption. I mean, do you think it was real? Do you think it was an elaborate hoax? So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And also, I will have a link to the full video which shows the full broadcast intrusion in the description below if you wish to check that out. And if you have any mysterious footage you've captured, whether it's, you know, related to aliens or UFOs or the paranormal or monsters or, you know, whatever, any kind of mysterious footage you've captured on whatever kind of device, photo or video, send it to me via my email, which will be posted in the description below or in the outro card at the end of this video. I really hope that you've been enjoying my content so far, so thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, peace out!